Today we're doing a full body postpartum workout for toning after pregnancy with a special focus on core healing. This is safe if you have diastasis recti or you're recovering after a c-section after you've been cleared for exercise of course. You can do this workout alone during nap time or when you have some time but you can also bring baby along for this one. After the warm-up we're going to do some hands and knee exercises. You could place baby in front of you and then you can strap baby on or hold baby for the standing portion. I will keep making postnatal workout yoga Pilates every week, and I will also link to the whole postnatal workout playlist in the description box below. Let's stand up for a quick warm up. If you got your baby, you can just hold your baby. Let's start with lunges back and forth. And drop your hip to feel a nice stretch through your groin. Good, bringing your feet in. Let's take some hip circles. Switching the other way. Activating your core as you go around. Good. You can turn to one side and take a lunge here. Feel a gentle stretch to the back of your leg. Lift our heel up and down. Good, we can shift our weight into that back foot. Gently stretch out through our hamstring. And then we'll take a gentle quad stretch here. If you've got your baby, you can hold your baby in one hand. Good, we can do that on the other side. Taking a lunge and releasing your heel up and down. Good. Stretching out your front hamstring. Keeping length in your spine here, keeping your core engaged. Quad stretch on the other side. Good. Release. We can take some arm circles here, or if you've got your baby, we can just do one at a time. Switching to the other side. Good. And let's get down on the mat. We can come down to all fours. And let's get right down onto our forearms. Let's roll our shoulder blades down our back so that our necks are long, engaging your core, pulling your ribs in. We can extend one leg behind us. We're going to kick up here with control, lower down. Keeping your core engaged. Let's do two more here. Good, now we'll draw rainbows behind us, crossing over, squeezing your inner thigh, drawing a rainbow to the outside, lightly tapping back and forth, not letting our hips sway. Do one more, cross it over behind you. Now we're going to reach our foot to the diagonal, straight up, crossing over, engaging your inner thighs as you cross.
Let's do one more here. Good. Lower down. Let's come up onto our wrists. Unless your wrists are bothering you, you can stay down. Moving into fire hydrant. Re-engaging your core, making sure you're not dumping in your lower back at all. Fire hydrant. Last one, good, extend behind. Let's pulse here. Good, release down. Let's cross that leg behind and we can stretch out through our glute. If it doesn't feel good to cross, just sit to one side of your legs. Beautiful, come on up. We can come back down on our forearms. We'll do this on the other leg. Re-engaging your core, shoulders rolling down your back, and kick. Last one, good. Let's reach back, cross over, drawing your rainbows. Keep bringing your attention back to your core. Core is strong, back is strong. Last one, ending crossed over, lifting diagonally. Moving with control, hopefully you can feel the burn. Last one, good, come back down come up, re-engaging our core for fire hydrant, 15 lifts here. Two more. Last one, good. Extend behind, pulsing here. Rest of your body stays very stable. Good, releasing down. Let's stretch it out. Coming it back to all fours. So depending on where you are in your recovery, we're gonna do push-ups in all fours. Or if you're farther along and it's safe for you, you can move into a modified plank or full, full push-up position if you're past your postpartum period. Engaging your core, we'll push up here.
Last one here. Good, let's bring our hands together for diamond push-ups. Re-engaging your core. Elbows are going out to the side now, moving with control. Two more. Good. We're gonna do tricep presses now. So elbows are gonna point back behind you. Simply lower them down, push them back up again. Good. Two more. Good, now we're gonna come down, slide forward, back, pressing back up again. Feel free to kiss your baby if you've got your baby in front of you. Letting your arms do the work here. Let's do one more. Good, come up, let's shake it out. You can take one arm up. We'll take a quick stretch here. Switching sides, keeping your ribs pulled in, not flaring them out. Release down. Let's get down on our back now. If you have your baby, you can also put your baby on your chest. We'll gently roll on to our back. Rolling your shoulders down your back. Again, pressing your palms in to the ground. Let's fully relax through our pelvic floor. We'll take a big inhale, relax and exhale, lifting your pelvic floor in and up. Inhale, fully relax. Exhale, lifting in and up. Inhale, release. Again, let's hold for 10 this time. Exhale, in and up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, fully release. Take a breath. We're gonna press up in it to bridge now. So on an exhale, Kegel up, and we'll hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down, inhale, release. We're gonna go up and down and you can use your pelvic floor as well. Exhale, up, inhale, releasing down. Move with your own breath. Let's come up, we'll stay here. Or if you have diastasis recti, you can be flat on your back. Let's engage our core. You can lift one leg up, release it down. Switch into the other side. Exhale as you lift. Not letting the hips rock back and forth.
Let's stay down here, pulsing. Releasing down, good. Let's bring our knees in. And rock back and forth. If it feels good, you can bring your knees out to the side. Take some hip circles. Good, let's roll over onto one side. So we have the option, you can stay down on your side here, or alternatively, you can come up into a side plank. If you're up in the plank, we're gonna dip down and lift, or you're just lifting your leg if you're down on the ground. Engaging your core, shoulders roll down your back. Last one, good. We can bring our arm up. We're gonna exhale, bring elbow to knee. You can also be down on your side for this. Using your obliques. Last one, good, lowering down. Take a breath here. You can roll over, I'm gonna switch to the other side. Lying down or setting up in your modified plank. Re-engaging your core, dip, lift. Beautiful. Last one. Good. Exhale, elbow to knee. Last one. Good job. Release down. Rest. You can come on up. Let's grab a quick sip of water. You can also pause here and put your baby in the baby carrier if you're gonna wear your baby. We can stand up for this next section. You can skip any of the arm movements and just hold your baby if you've got your baby. If you're newly postpartum, just go slow, focus on your core and your pelvic floor. However, if you are progressing and really working on toning, you can bring up the intensity and really focus in on each exercise. We're gonna start with a squat, exhale, knee up.
We're gonna do a double pulse in a lunge. We can put our arms up if they're free, and then knee up here as well. Keeping your core engaged, setting up. We'll set up on the other side. Re-engaging your core, shoulders are low. Double pulse, exhale, lift. We're gonna take a curtsy lunge here. Lift laterally and we can step side to side. Keeping your core engaged. Coming up with power. We're gonna lunge side to side. Put your hands behind our ears. Chest is high. Lunging back and forth, sitting back into our hips. Re-engaging your core. Losing your glutes. Shake it out. We're gonna reach up and down here, or just hold your baby. You have the option to jump here for advanced. Go. Keep going.
We're gonna do power squats here. This is the last exercise. Squeezing at the top. Fifteen more seconds. Nice, take it out. Let's take some deep breaths here. Taking our feet wide apart. Big breath in. Exhale out. Let's stretch to one side. Exhale up, other side. Exhale, engage your obliques, come on up. Let's turn our feet out again. Stretch through your groin. Come on up. Lunging side to side. Again, feel free to drop your hip. Turn to the side again. Let's keep our back leg bent. Tuck our pelvis under. Then work on straightening our back leg. Step forward, switching to the other side. Bending your knee, tucking your pelvis, and straightening your back leg. Stepping forward, let's come down onto our knees. We'll take a modified camel. So making sure that you're keeping your ribs and your core pulled in, so we're not causing any separation. We place our hands just on the top of our glute and then just lift, opening up through your chest. If you need to, you can shift your weight forward a little bit. Deep breaths here. On an exhale, keeping your ribs pulled in, engage your core, come on up. Let's sit back on our heels, clasping your hands behind you, or you can clasp your elbows if it doesn't feel good to clasp your hands. Reaching your hands down, opening up through your chest. Exhale, coming up, rounding out the other way. Let's sit to one side. We'll take a big side stretch, really ballooning out through your side body. Inhale, coming up. We'll switch to the other side. Exhale. Coming up. Let's find our way through one last downward dog, all fours, tuck your toes, press into downward dog. We can walk our feet out here. Then reach both heels down towards the ground, engaging your core, spreading your fingers and toes. 
engaging our core, let's bend our knees and walk our feet wide. So either side of your baby, if your baby is in front of you, let's just dangle there, release your head. You can shake it, no. And when you're ready, let's roll up one vertebra at a time. Good. You did amazing. I hope you're feeling great after that workout. I would love to know what you named your baby. You can let me know in the comments below. I'm also going to link to my whole postpartum yoga Pilates workout playlist. There's over a hundred different videos in it. You can save it and come back to different workouts whenever you like.